You see that bright streak across the night sky and think, wow, a shooting star. But what if I told you that sometimes those streaks aren't stars at all? What if they're visitors from somewhere so far away that it takes them millions of years just to say hello? Today, we're going to be talking about something called 3 Eye Atlas, which sounds like a robot name, but is actually something way cooler. It's what scientists call an interstellar comet, which means it came from another star system entirely. But here's where it gets really interesting. Some people think it might not be a comet at all. By the end of this, you'll understand what makes this space visitor so special and why it has scientists scratching their heads. Imagine you're playing in your backyard when suddenly a ball rolls into your yard from somewhere that you can't even see. Not from your neighbor's yard, not from down the street, but from a place so far away that you'd need a telescope just to see where it came from. That's basically what happened when 3 Eye Atlas showed up in our solar system. It came from somewhere out there, beyond our sun's family of planets, from another star's neighborhood entirely. Now, before we talk about this mysterious visitor, we need to understand what a regular comet is. Think of a comet like a dirty snowball that's been sitting in the freezer of space for millions of years. It's made of ice, dust, and rocky bits all stuck together. Now, most comets live way out at the edge of our solar system, in a place so cold that even your breath would freeze instantly. These comets usually just mind their own business, floating around in the dark, cold emptiness. But sometimes, something gives one of these dirty snowballs a push, and it starts falling toward the sun. As it gets closer to the sun, the ice starts to melt and turn into gas. The gas and dust get blown away by the sun's energy, creating that beautiful tail that streams behind the comet like a cosmic ponytail. It's like when you take an ice cube out of the freezer and it starts to melt. Except, this ice cube was the size of a mountain and it's moving faster than anything you've ever seen. Now, most comets that visit our inner solar system are like family members. They belong to our sun's family, and they've been here since the very beginning, about four and a half billion years ago. They orbit around our sun in big, stretched out circles, sometimes taking hundreds or thousands of years to complete one trip around. We can predict when they'll come back because they're part of our neighborhood. But 3 Eye Atlas is different. Very different, in fact. It's what scientists call an interstellar object, which means it came from between the stars. Imagine if that ball that rolled into your yard didn't come from any house in your town, or even your state, but from another country entirely. That is how far 3 Eye Atlas traveled to get here. It came from another star system. Probably one so far away that its light takes years and years to reach us. The 3 Eye part of its name is like a special code. The Eye stands for interstellar, and the 3 means it's the third interstellar object we've ever discovered visiting our solar system. The first one was called one Eye Oumuamua, which looked like a giant space cigar and behaved very strangely. The second was 2 Eye Borisov, which looked and acted like a normal comet. And now we have 3 Eye Atlas, which is puzzling scientists in its own special way. When scientists first spotted 3 Eye Atlas back in 2024, they got really excited. I mean, finding an interstellar visitor is like finding a message in a bottle that has floated across an entire ocean. Except the ocean is space, and it's much, much bigger than any ocean on Earth. These visitors can tell us about other star systems, about how planets and comets form around other stars, and maybe even about whether there's life out there somewhere. But here's where things get interesting, and maybe a little bit mysterious. When scientists studied 3 Eye Atlas more carefully, they noticed some things didn't quite add up. It was behaving like a comet in some ways, but not in others. It was bright, which suggested that it might be releasing gas and dust like a normal comet would. But when they looked closer, they couldn't see the typical comet trail for the cloud of gas and dust that should surround it. This is where some people started wondering if 3 Eye Atlas might be something else entirely. Could it be what we call an alien probe? Now, before you start imagining little green creatures with big eyes, let's talk about what scientists mean when they say alien probe. They're not necessarily talking about a spaceship with aliens inside. They're talking about the possibility that it could be some kind of artificial object, maybe a piece of technology created by intelligent life from another star system. Think about it this way. Humans have sent probes to other planets. I mean, we've sent robots to Mars, and we've sent spacecraft to fly by other planets and moons. We've even sent a few spacecraft that will eventually leave our solar system entirely and travel to other stars, though it will take them thousands of years to get there. So, if we can do that, maybe other intelligent creatures somewhere else have done the same thing. Maybe they've sent their own probe on a journey between the stars, and maybe that probe is what we're seeing as 3 Eye Atlas. Some scientists have suggested that certain interstellar objects might not be natural comets or asteroids at all, but could be artificial objects. They might be old pieces of technology that have been traveling through space for millions of years, long after whoever made them is gone. Or they might be active probes, still carrying out some kind of mission that we don't understand. But here's the thing about science. 
Just because something is possible doesn't mean that it's true. Scientists have to be very careful about jumping to exciting conclusions without having enough evidence. It's like being a detective. You can't just say someone is guilty because they were in the neighborhood when something happened. You need lots of evidence, and it has to all fit together perfectly. So far, most scientists think that 3 Eye Atlas is probably just a comet, even if it's behaving a bit strangely. Comets can be weird sometimes. I mean, they don't all behave exactly the same way because they're not all made of exactly the same stuff. Some have more ice, some have more rock, some have very different kinds of chemicals frozen inside of them. And when a comet has been traveling through space for millions of years, it might have changed in ways that we don't fully understand yet. Also, 3 Eye Atlas came from another star system, so it might be made of different materials than the comets in our own solar system. Different stars create different conditions, so the comets that formed around them might be different too. It's like how cookies made in different kitchens might taste a little different, even if they're using similar recipes. Another possibility is that 3 Eye Atlas might be what scientists call a dark comet. This is a relatively new idea in astronomy. A dark comet would be an object that has some ice inside of it, like a regular comet, but not enough to create a big, visible tail when it gets close to the sun. It might release just a little bit of gas, not enough for us to see easily, but enough to change how it moves through space slightly. The movement part is important, because that's one of the clues scientists use to figure out what these objects are made of. When a comet releases gases, it's like a tiny rocket engine. The gas pushes against the comet and changes its path slightly. If scientists can measure these tiny changes in movement, they can figure out how much gas the comet is releasing, even if they can't see it directly. With 3 Eye Atlas, scientists have been watching very carefully to see if its path changes in ways that would suggest it's releasing gas. If it is, that would be strong evidence that it's a comet. If it's not, that might suggest it's made of solid rock or maybe something else entirely. The mystery of 3 Eye Atlas also reminds us just how much we still don't know about space. Even though we've learned an incredible amount about our solar system and the universe beyond it, we're still discovering new things all the time. Every new interstellar visitor teaches us something new about how star systems form and evolve, and about what kinds of objects are floating around in the space between stars. Think about it. Until just a few years ago, we had never seen an interstellar object visit our solar system. We knew they had existed because math and physics told us they should, but we had never actually seen one. Now we've seen three, and each one has been different and surprising in its own way. One eye Oumuamua was long and thin, like a cosmic pencil, and it seemed to speed up as it flew away from the sun in a way that didn't quite make sense if it was just a rock. Two eye Borisov looked and acted like a normal comet, with a beautiful tail and everything. And now, Three Eye Atlas is giving us new puzzles to solve. These discoveries are changing how we think about our place in the galaxy. Our solar system isn't isolated, it's constantly receiving visitors from other star systems, even if most of them are too small or too faint for us to notice. We're part of a much bigger, more connected universe than we used to think. The technology that let us find these objects is also pretty amazing. The telescopes and computers that spotted 3 Eye Atlas can detect objects that are incredibly far away and moving incredibly fast. It's like being able to spot a grain of sand flying past your window while you're driving on the highway. Except the grain of sand is millions of miles away and moving faster than anything on Earth. Scientists use special programs that automatically scan the sky every night, taking pictures and comparing them to pictures from previous nights. When something moves from one picture to the next, the computer notices and alerts the astronomers. Then, they can track the object and figure out where it came from and where it's going. This is how they figured out that 3 Eye Atlas came from outside our solar system. By tracking its movement and calculating backwards, they could see that it didn't come from the outer edge of our solar system like normal comets do. Instead, its path shown that it came from the direction of another star entirely. The study of interstellar objects like 3 Eye Atlas is still very new, but it's growing fast. Astronomers around the world are working together to spot these visitors as early as possible and study them before they fly away again. Because, here's the thing. These objects don't stick around for long. They zip through our solar system and then continue on their journey to who knows where. We might only have a few months or years to study them before they're gone forever. Each interstellar visitor is like a time capsule from another star system. It carries information about the conditions where it formed billions of years ago and trillions of miles away. By studying these objects, we can learn about other star systems without actually traveling there ourselves, which would take thousands of years with our current technology. So, what's the final answer about 3i Atlas? Is it a comet, an alien probe, or something else entirely? 
The honest answer is that scientists are still working on it. They're continuing to study it, taking more measurements and gathering more data. Science doesn't always give us quick, easy answers, especially when we're dealing with something as mysterious and far away as an interstellar visitor. But that's what makes it so exciting. We're living in a time when we can discover visitors from other star systems and puzzle over what they might be. We're like cosmic detectives, gathering clues and trying to solve mysteries that involve objects from unimaginably far away places. Whether 3i Atlas turns out to be a strange comet, a piece of alien technology, or something else we haven't thought of yet, it's already taught us something important. Our universe is full of surprises, and there's still so much left to discover. And so, there you have it. 3i Atlas is probably just a weird comet from another star system, but it might be something much more exciting, and scientists are still trying to figure that out. Either way, it's a reminder that space is full of amazing visitors just waiting to be discovered. Now go outside tonight and look up at the stars, knowing that somewhere out there, mysterious objects are zooming through space on journeys that started far before humans even existed. And try not to get a crick in your neck from all that sky gazing.